Hi Leo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your general monthly read. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming through. Uh, it's gonna, it could be love, it could be, uh, I don't know, it could be even career, your life. Let's dive in. Let's take a look at what's happening. We'll break it down week by week for you here. Ah, oh, some of you, look at this, man, look at this. Sun card, new, new opportunities, whoo, renewed energy. Oh, this is already gonna be really good, I can tell. <laughs> So, all right, let's take a look. What's coming out for you, Leo? Your, your, your card came out. The Sun card, uh, renewed energy, and a new opportunity. All right, well, let's just take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, give me a few cards for the first week for Leo. What do we get? Ah, this is a, ooh, okay. You're being very disciplined. Well, there you go. The Sun card came out. This is about willingness to see something differently in a different perspective. So this is about a change within the mind, seeing something in a different perspective. It's kind of like you feel like uh, this is own, your own self. This is, could be even like self-sabotage in the mind, all right? So this is creating some sort of change surrounding that. It's an eight card. Something that needs to bring in balance on this, all right? Uh, this is about self-imposed. I mean, the swords aren't in her. They're around her. She can move out of this right and uh, there is an opportunity to be able to easily shimmy next to one of these swords here break herself free and take off her blindfold and push forward so it's about allowing yourself to be able to do that so it's an eight changes so let's dive in within your first week I get the king of Pentacles uh, and then we've got the seven of wands uh, fire energy and then the Sun card Leo's ruled by the Sun so it's like an opportunity for renewal this is about, you know, pushing forward and persevering towards a renewal and being very disciplined in the process. So what I'm getting, Leo, is that you're really focusing on creating change in your world. All right. And this is you persevering on it. Uh, and it could be about two people coming together to see eye to eye and that you're hoping for some sort of renewal here. I do see this here. There's a resurgence of new energy. Uh, but this is being very disciplined, right, to be able to persevere and, um, and move move forward. Now you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, uh, or perhaps um, you know it could be a you know a, a fellow fire sign you know that's coming through as well. And give us more on this. Let's take a look at anything more that's coming through. What is it that uh, you are uh, persevering towards? What do we get? A transformation. You want to see some a transformation. Hence why we saw the Eight of Swords, which is all about, uh, you know, go, it's about see change, it's about changing and seeing something differently. Well, this is about change. This is a, a point, a, a, a discovery of a transformation to see something differently and start with new purity and new love, uh, a new opportunities coming through. Um, so I feel that scorpionic energy is you're pushing for a transformation, uh, you know, perhaps to, for a resurgence of new energy or, you know, even perhaps a, a connection with someone where you can see eye to eye and have that same optimism moving forward. If the energy is inviting, it's there right now. Okay, let's take a look at anything else that shines through. What else do we get? Teaching and learning. So Leo, you could be a teacher. All right. Or maybe that you and someone else are teaching each other and you're learning about each other in this process, okay? Um, it is about some sort of communication coming through, all right? Uh, the, a spiritual connection with source is coming through. So teaching and learning, anything else, the spirit's advice in the first week coming through, what do we get? Yeah, it's going to be a sense of forgiveness. For this resurgence to take place, you know, between two people, there will be some sort of forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and then perhaps gaining the forgiveness of another person or, you know, vice versa. You know how that, that works for you. But there, it's it's about you, you learning. And, and we learn through our connections with others, don't we? Right? Our connection with source and then in, in, in our expression, um, you know, our throat chakra energy, you know, expressing that. So that's what's coming through as well. Okay? So I do feel within this first week that's coming into play. All right? Interesting. Uh, give me one more card. So there's going to be a sense of forgiveness and uh, it releases yourself from that pent up energy that could be holding you back from, you know, new, new beginnings, right? So forgiveness is not bad. It's not forgetting, but yeah, it moves you forward on a rebirth. 
Yeah, that's what it says. You're teaching and learning and forgiving each other, and it brings forth a rebirth. And this is a seven card, and that's perseverance. So that rebirth is going to be generated, and it's going to help you persevere. Another seven card in, in partnerships. Uh, it's going to transform. Uh, the forgiveness is going to transform scorpionic energy, a partnership, okay, or a connection, all right? Um, but this is, uh, that's what I'm getting within the first week. Uh, any other info that we get for Leo? Yeah, dreams. Listen to your dreams. It's going to open the door to your dreams is what I feel. You see that little bit of light coming through here? It's kind of like doing the shadow work. You see the light and it's going to help you focus in on your dreams. Uh, what else do I get? Yeah, the duality, the shadow and the light side. Balancing the shadow and the light side will be very, very key, okay? Wow, this is what I'm getting in the first week. Now let's take a look at the second week that's coming out for uh, Leo here. What do we get for Leo in the second week? Um, let's take a look, okay? Second week for Leo in June 2023. What's important or most important for Leo to be aware of? All right, give me one more card. Okay, bottom of the deck. To balance something out is the underlying energy. Equal give and take, kind of balancing things out. So six of pentacles. Sixes are about growth. It's about moving forward and in and, 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 and in that growth there. Now, I do get that you're putting in some hard work into something. All right, you're really engaged in something that you're doing. This could be work. So some of you are really focusing in on work in order to get the rewards that you want and to order to leave the legacy in the life that you want to leave it. Leo, this is what I'm getting. Now, for some of you, it could be a long-term connection. Other th others, it's, it's all focusing in on earth energy, okay? Now, you could be dealing with someone who's, who's got earth in their chart, or you're just, you're taking on this energy. As, if you're taking on all this energy, is what I'm getting, is that you are focusing in on cultivating your success and because you want to leave a legacy in your life. And there is such beautiful, I mean, that is beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Maybe you're coming together in partnership with someone to make that happen. Uh, some of you could be even, you know, getting married. All right. This could have to do with family. Uh, but you're putting in the work to make something happen. And, and you're, you're, you want to achieve balance here. Even your underlying energy is earth energy. It's all pentacles, uh, you know, that are coming through. So uh, anything else uh, that we get for this ten of pentacles, what's coming through? To grit, uh, uh, you, some of you want to buy a home. Some of you are focusing in on buying a home and you're looking at homes. Maybe you want to move, but this is a wreath of success coming through to balance something out. Maybe something within your life has been imbalanced regarding your money, but this is saying this is, brings peace to your home. And for some of you, you could be moving. You might be in real estate for some of you that are cultivating that, uh, you know, going through some changes and wanting to put the effort into cultivate that. Some of you want a place where you can build a garden. Uh, you know, is what I'm getting to. Um, but you want to come together and you want a place to share something, uh, you know, with another person. What is Spirit's Advice in your second week of June? It's great, guys. I think it's great. Uh, Spirit's Advice. What do we get? Oh, man, I get this card a lot. This is awesome. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, guys. So it's uh, really focusing in on following your dreams. Ooh, this is great. Uh, anything else that comes through? A relationship change. You could be coming together with someone, all right? There could be a relationship change between you and another person. Uh, this is communication, and this is the heart chakra. So, you know, this, like I mentioned, could be coming in together with someone and then maybe moving in with someone. It could be for some of you that is the case. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's about mastering a, a, a relationship change. Maybe your relationship with money or your relationship with another person to bring forth a new place to live. <laughs> okay. All right. And you could be dealing, I just get all, uh, I get the fire energy and Capricorn energy. It's a lot of passion, a lot of earth energy. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, anything else that we get the second week? Happy ending. Man, you guys, this is amazing, okay? So I feel that there's an opportunity for some sort of happy ending in home. You're really focused on what it is that you want, and I think you're going to get it, all right? There's some sort of change that's coming through as you follow your dreams and you're putting in the work, and I get happy ending. I mean, this is like, this is like amazing. Whew, for your second week, you're going to have a great week here, guys. There's going to be some sort of happy ending. Anything else that wants to reveal itself? 
um, you're working hard and some of you are working hard for your happy ending and you're communicating that. All right. What you want, what I get, see the light and be the light is what I'm getting. So I want you to see the light and be the light and anything else. Focus on what it is that you desire, your imagination. What does that vision in your imagination look like in, in how you want to proceed uh, in terms of getting this home or moving forward with someone as you vision your life with another person um, and, and, and as you follow your dreams? It's kind of like this is a culmination of like all three together. Like what you want in your work, what you want in love and what you want in life. I mean, it wants you to dream and to manifest what it is that you want. Jeez, this, I couldn't be a more, I mean, if I try to get a perfect week for you, this is it. If I were to get a perfect week for any sign, this is it. So I'm going to, I'm going to move on to the third week here, uh, um, Leo here, and let's take a look and see what else comes out. Wow. <laughs> it's great to be a Leo right now, man. Um, let's take a look at your third week in June. All right. We got the high priestess energy. You're putting something to the end in the mind, and you're being very careful where you place your energy, effort, and time. You're being very, you know, uh, honorable. You're being trustworthy. Again, very intuitive. To get this, this is into these are like the two most intuitive cards in the in the tarot deck. You know, so it's kind of like you're following your intuition here. You're following your intuition, and probably because you know uh, you're overcoming, um, you're overcoming, you're persevering on something. Okay, you're persevering on something to get what you want, and this is using your intuition. You're using your intuition to put something to the end in terms of in the mind. This is an ending of that. It's not wallowing it. It's it's an ending. All right. It's, it, you've done enough of that. You've worked up to the ten. So I feel that in the mind, there's something that is uh, some sort of loss that you're putting behind you. So then you can be able to move forward and put your energy, effort, and time, uh, you know, with this Queen of Pentacles here. This is um, you taking on this energy, um, you know, and I feel that you are very, you're, you're focusing in on the harvest, right? You were second week, you were building the harvest and planting and hoeing and gardening it. Now it's like, putting your, your, your pinnacle where you see fit to invest and to put that into play. Give me a card for this 10 of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be you had to leave someone or, or a situation or a mindset. Uh, yeah, because maybe they're putting an end. Maybe that there was, um, this is teamwork that you wanted teamwork and maybe there was no teamwork in a situation. And so you're, 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 you're going solo. Um, that could be the case. Uh, give me anything more for this Ten of Swords is to see something differently. Maybe before that you weren't uh, putting in the effort and now you are. But let's take a look. What else do we get? Ah, Hierophant energy, Virgo energy. Wow, you got two major cons, the Hierophant. And, and this is about you getting guidance in terms of moving forward in teamwork amidst the obstacles. This is focusing in on your morals, your values, and your beliefs. Like what's going to bring me keys to give me peace in my life? And how can I, and this is, it, it, it's maybe it's going to take teamwork for this. Maybe you're focusing on building teamwork. Give me another card. I'm curious. But you're getting clear what you want. Yeah, and you're thinking about, oh, it could be that you're thinking about, I think you're going to get some sort of something. There's an opportunity that comes through. And, and you, you're going to be having to make some sort of choice with the Four of Cups. Oh, it's about a partnership coming together you might have to this is about a partnership right and you're deciding whether or not you want some sort of partnership someone's putting an and you're putting something to an end but this is partnership two people coming together that totally gets it so what are your morals values and beliefs and then making a decision on an offer that's coming through regarding two people okay is what i'm getting so, and cultivating the second week is, is, is putting um, your energy, effort, and time into what you want. Give me a card on this Queen of Pentacles. Stability. How is it going to affect my stability? Yeah, you don't want uh, any sort of heartbreak to affect your stability in a situation. What's Spirit's advice here for you? What's Spirit's advice within this uh, third week? A love partnership. Wow. This is coming. This is a change. A love partnership is changing. There's a love partnership opportunity coming through. Whether you want to move forward 
this could be that you put a mindset aside, which is the Ten of Swords is mind and reasoning. And now it is about an opportunity, you're contemplating an opportunity, especially, and, and but I do get that you're focused on your stability. You don't want it to knock, you don't want your a heartbreak to knock off your stability. But let's just take a look. Anything else? A new beginning. I think you're, I think you're going to be able to handle it. I think you're strong enough because you've got your intuition, the high priestess and the queen of cups. I think that is both using your intuition on both sides to overcome this and to know when to move forward, when to zig and when to zag. Give me a, another card on this, uh, this heartbreak. Oh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's you. That you've got the power to stand up and be that visionary and to overcome any sort of heartbreak that might be, uh, you know, might knock off your stability in some sort of way. You're, you're strong enough. Like you see this and maybe there's a Capricorn around you um, that, you know, that, you know, I don't know, that could be the case as well that, um, you know, but I do get new beginnings in the second week. A love partnership with a new beginning and what else? And it's healing. It's about healing. Mm, it's about you probably you both have grown two sixes it's like you both have grown on each side reducing to a 12 which is a three and threes are about communication of healing coming together in communication of healing hmm anything else of spirits advice coming through in week three for you what do we get for leo yeah you're of the universe you've discovered the universe the gems of the universe in this okay and what else being authentic to you Be, this is about being authentic in the situation being authentic regarding a new beginning okay they're the same sacral chakra and ground and and and, and they're the, the sacral chakra and root chakra uh and there, so there is a new beginning be authentic in a love partnership same color love partnership as you connect with source uh so there is a, there was a sense of healing for some of you it could be someone that uh there was some sort of connection that had a disagreement or uh, separation and an opportunity for renewal let's take a look at the last week coming through what's the last week coming through what's the last week there, there's going to be a change in the love partnership okay uh and what did we get last week leo here you are guys yay here you are all right and what else do we get and there we go bottom of the deck progress making progress and moving forward all right, so this is pushing forward, making progress, focusing in on your strength, your inner strength to create the change that you want to see, all right? And this is bossing up. Uh, this is being an independent lover. So you're being an independent lover in gratitude for where you're at, and this is taking action on faith and moving forward. For some of you, you're going to move forward. You're going to know which way to move because your instinctual qualities, your instincts and intuition are going to tell you within. And I feel that this is taking, uh, you know, action on the outside, cancer energy, uh, you know, earth energy, and then there's you. It's inner strength to be able to take the lead, to move forward and, and move forward and take action here, okay? Uh, what is the um, cherry energy? Take action for progress and, and overcome any sort of conflict. Yeah, you're just going to be too perceptive to be able to see it. You're going to be perceptive. You're going to know it's kind of like the energy of the chariot, the cancer energy is coming together with perception and having faith to move forward. All right. So how's you moving forward this last week and having, uh, you know, having the energy to be able to do that. You're persevering and moving forward. Okay. Taking action. You're taking action, coming together. All right. So let's take a look. What else? Perseverance. Perseverance in matters of the heart. Some of you are going to persevere in matters of the heart and go towards what you want. And I get self-love and your environment. You know what? Your environment all had to deal with persevering. Loving you affects your environment and, and allows you to have a lot more, even more faith uh, to make smarter decisions to move forward. And you'll be able to overcome the obstacles is what I get. Um, you know, you, a lot of you are already making progress because you've become a lot more independent on your own and you're in deep gratitude for that. And now it's about using that same strength in love. This is heart chakra energy is all that green is the heart chakra energy. Wow. Uh, any other advice from spirit in this last week? Okay. What do we get? You're persevering, uh, going towards something here. Watch, look at bloom. You started with this. Look at this. You had the sun card. From the beginning, you end with bloom. Here you are blooming. 
Oh, you're blooming, guys. Wow, this is what I'm getting. You know what? I wanted to pull a love card. I did that on the others, and I forgot to do that on Taurus's. Sorry, Taurus, but here we go. I'm going to pull a final card for you. A love card. Ooh, something about the star of Venus. The star of Venus. The star of love. The ability to create change. This is a 26 card. So this is all about an opportunity to create change, okay? This is focusing in on to trust your path, trust your evolution that you've been making, Leo. Even you know, in the face of those around you um, that uh, may might be reacting to fear or discomfort, um, you know, this is you know, trust in the paths of others too. But there's only uh, there's there's truly only one path, and we're all on it, you know. And and this is moving in the light. This is about embracing your wisdom, Leo. Embracing your freedom and empowerment to grow spiritually. And live the life according to what you want as you know to make yourself bloom right and I do get a lot of self-love was huge this is a you have some sort of alchemy um, with this Venus um, kind of like a Venus um, it's because it's a star of Venus so it's a star of love it wants you to shine and shine bright and it's reminding you that the star above loves you and is uh, honors your soul and spirit with the blessing. And that's why I get al -Uza star of Venus is the name of this. How interesting is that? Everyone is walking on an unfolding path. And we don't always have to understand or justify the path of another. But, but this is about feeling peace and self-love, you know, and, and to be able to bloom in our own hearts, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is about seeking, uh, seeking out whomever is ready to fully know the truth of the divine in the oneness. Ooh, some of you could be in the spiritual realm. You could be teachers within this. Okay. Um, but this is having this, the star of Venus holds power and strength and what perfect card for you to get for Leo for in this month. Okay. Wow. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Note your comments, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.